Hello, my name is Tanam Shaw and I'm from UNSW. Today I'm going to work through some of the problems for our Math 101 Calculus, uh, section 1.2 on absolute values. We're going to do two parts from question 3, parts A and E, which require us to solve some absolute value equations. Uh, for part A, the absolute value of 2x plus 5 is equal to 5. There's lots of ways we could approach the question. We could draw a graph. We could uh, write it as a piecewise function and consider some cases. I'm actually going to solve this question thinking about the absolute value as a distance. So first of all, if we want to approach it that way, we really want uh, just an x in here rather than a 2x. So I'm going to factorise the 2 out. Uh, if I factorise that 2 out, um, I will get the absolute value of 2 times uh, the absolute value of x plus 5 on 2 is equal to 5. I can split out that absolute value because that's multiplication there. Absolute value of 2 is just 2, so this just says the absolute value of x plus 5 on 2 is equal to 5 on 2. We're just dividing both sides by 2 there. Now, I have to rewrite this as a minus if I want to think about this as a distance. So x plus 5 on 2 is the same as x minus minus 5 on 2. The reason I want to do that is because this reads uh, the distance um, from x to minus 5 on 2. Uh, and it only reads that when that's a subtraction in there. So the distance of, from x to minus 5 on 2 is equal to 5 on 2. That's what that equation is saying. So that's how we're going to solve this equation, by thinking of it as a distance. So if I look at my number line here, uh, here's minus 5 on 2. Now x to five, minus 5 on 2, it's 5 on 2 away. So x must be over here, or it must be over here. Right, there, that's where x has to be, that's our solution here. So 5 on 2 away from minus 5 on 2 in that direction gives us 0. 5 on 2 away in that direction gives us minus 5. If you like, think about 5 on 2 as 2 and a half there. So that means our solution is x is minus 5 or x is equal to 0. So we've solved it thinking about distance, but to do that, we had to take the 2 out, first of all, and we had to write it as a subtraction to think about it in this particular way. Part E is a more complicated looking absolute value equation. We're going to solve it in a different way. It's always a good idea to draw a picture for these more complicated looking ones, because then you can really see what's going on. You can solve it uh, without a diagram if you're really careful about it, careful at checking your answers, careful at considering all the cases. But a picture lets you see what's going on just that much more. So what we're going to do is we're going to sketch some graphs. We're going to sketch y equals the absolute value of x plus 4. And we're also going to sketch y equals 2x minus 9. And what we're looking for on that sketch is we're looking for the points of intersection, in particular the x value for the point of intersection. So let's sketch this graph. Y equals the absolute value of x plus 4, that's an absolute value graph, which looks like a v, and it's been shifted left so it's going to look something like this. Shifted left 4, so this uh, critical point here occurs at minus 4 there. This, the equation of this side is x plus 4. The equation of this branch of the absolute value graph is minus outside of x plus 4. Remember absolute value graphs Absolute value functions are piecewise functions. They have uh, slightly different rules uh, depending on whether the inside is positive or whether it's negative. So here's our absolute value graph. Now, y equals 2x minus 9, that's a linear graph. It's got a y-intercept of minus 9. That's 4 there. So it's got a y-intercept of minus 9. 
And it has a gradient of 2. So that's steeper than this. That has a gradient of 1. Ours has got a gradient of 2. So it's a steeper graph. Uh, in fact, it's got an x-intercept of 4.5. We're not worrying too much about scale. The important thing is that uh, this line is steeper than this line, so you can tell that they're going to intersect. Um, and things should be approximately correct. So this graph has the equation uh, y equals 2x minus 9. So we can see that the absolute value of x plus 4 equals 2x, plus, 2x minus 9 here, right? At this x value here, right? So if we want to find, we want to find this point of intersection, right? Um, so to find the point of intersection that I've labelled up there, A, in fact, we only want the x point value of the point of intersection, we're going to solve 2x minus 9 with x plus 4, right? Because that's the equation of that branch of the absolute value. So 2x minus 9 equals x plus 4. We can see that this 2x minus 9 does not intersect this branch minus outside of x plus 4. There's no intersection down here at all. Okay, so we can see there's only one solution, and that's the solution to this. And so here we have 2x must be x plus 13, so x must equal 13. Okay, so the solution to our equation writing this a bit all over the place because I'm running out of room. So hence, the absolute value of x plus 4 equals 2x minus 9 when x equals 13. That's our solution to this equation, which we can see on our graph here. That's the x value for where the graphs intersect.